hello everyone and today i'm gonna teach you how you can customize your cursor looks with c or c plus plus so first i'm gonna show you how you can use an ico file or an icon file as a cursor now if you don't know you can easily convert png into ico using online converters but over here i have some files ready so we'll use this food.ico and this is 32 by 32 icon icon which we are going to use so let's get started now before you include anything what you gotta do is just add hashtag define and you gotta type oem resource now this will allow us to use the defined cursor ids for changing the cursor so after that we have included windows.h and we have our stream and conio.h for get cl if it's needed and we are using namespace std in our main method we have nothing so let's type something over there which will help us to change the course so make an object of h icon which will store the icon so i'm gonna name it capital r and will set it equal to load image and post parameter will be zero then the file name which is d colon slash slash so slash slash food dot ico then the type which is gonna be image underscore icon then the height and width so x is width and y is height over here you can put any height that you want but um, if it's too big then it will cover the screen and um, it won't look good but to demonstrate it i'm gonna use 80 by 80 and the default height is mostly 32 and with this 32 so after that we can pass in lr underscore load from file and once you do that you can add explicit over here which is gonna cast it to type its icon now that we have our icon loaded we can set the hotspot of our cursor for setting the hotspot we need to create an object of icon info and i'm gonna name it ico you can name it anything you want then after you do that we can use get icon info to read the information of our h icon which is i and then we'll pass in and ico once you do that we can set the hotspot so ico dot x hotspot which is gonna be zero for now because i don't know the favorable spot for the hotspot so i'm just gonna use zero but you can set any value as long as it doesn't exceed the size of loaded icon so ico dot y hotspot equals zero and after that you can create an object of edge cursor and you can name it anything you want i'm gonna name it c and set it equal to create icon indirect and we'll pass in our and ico now this is the main function that will change the cursor so type set system cursor and you can pass in c then the id of the cursor now the ids are listed on the microsoft's document about this method so over here i have it open you can see ocr normal is the standard arrow then cross is crosser and so on and over here is app starting which is that hourglass thing that pops up so yeah you can copy the values from them and paste it over here which will change the normal cursor which is an arrow by default and after that you can just compile it so you can see there are no errors but if you remove this or if you don't define oem resource that won't compile so make sure you define that and you can compile it and run it you can see that the hamburger is now my cursor and i don't know the hotspot of it so it's probably offset it and uh, this icon will reset after and restart or after you change the icon size of the cursor so yeah it will reset now i'm gonna show you how you can load or set the cursor from bmp file for this we can just remove this code and we can comment it over here 
so we'll save this and i'm gonna show you the stuff so over here i have a thing which looks like this now that's just 32 by 32 so it looks like this but basically if you open it with green.net or something you can see that it has the black area and the black area will not get displayed unless it's in mass so i can open this and this is the mass now the white area will be cropped out and the black area over here in the mass will only be displayed so this will be mass underneath this so yeah that's how it works you can maybe find a better explanation for this i'm not good at explaining this mask and all stuff like that but uh, yeah that's how it works now i'm gonna show you how to load it in your program so i'm just gonna minimize it minimize that so first we'll start with making objects of h bitmap and you can name it anything but I'm gonna name this P and set it equal to explicit of edit map and load image zero name will be D colon stuff slash slash pointer dot BMP type will be image underscore bitmap and the size will be your desired size i'm gonna set it to 128 by 1 by 100 or maybe by 64 just to show you that you can use any size basically and you can do lr underscore load from file now once you do that you can just copy this line and paste it under this i'm just gonna change the file name to mask and over here i'm gonna change object name to mass and uh, remember that the size of mass should be equal to the size of this thing and after you do that we can create icon info class and i'm gonna call it ico as well after that you have to set few parameters of this first is ico dot f icon which should be false because it's an cursor not an icon then ICO dot HBM color will be our P and then ICO dot HBM mask will be P mask and after that we can set the hotspot of the cursor so ICO dot X hotspot equals 30 maybe and then ICO dot Y hotspot equals 5 I don't know I'm just making those values up you can put anything there as long as it doesn't exceed this and you can enjoy your hotspot so yeah after that you can make object of H cursor which i'm gonna name as c then i'm gonna set it equal to create icon indirect and i'm gonna pass in and ico once you do that you can call the magic function which is set system cursor and pass in c then the id of the cursor now i resetted that cursor so it's an arrow but you can use the same thing oops looks like we gotta copy it again OCR normal and after that you can just compile it and run it you can see my cursor change so yeah that's my cursor now unless i reset it so you can just use this thing now you can also change this resize it to whatever you want and it will still allow you to set the cursor and you can even create a palette you can set it to run on startup and it will always do that for you so that's it for this video and hope you guys have enjoyed this video so if you can see a video on your top corner of the screen then make sure you click that because that's the most recommended for you and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel then make sure you do that because you're gonna miss out on the future videos so bye bye